Greetings, everyone. I am getting a read on how far we are. <clears throat> oh boy. Alright, I got a lot I want to get done tonight, and hopefully I can get it done tonight. Um, I'm definitely tired going into this, but we'll see how it goes. <coughs> but yeah, no matter what, no matter how far we get tonight, we will, uh, be playing, uh, Fallout next weekend. I want to know if I can call Chocobo. I'm pretty sure it was L3. I'm pretty sure I'm locked until I do the story quest. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Ah. Uh, Oi! Stop and give me an hand. No. Is Joe gonna comment on that? Is Torgal gonna comment on that? That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, let me get myself refamiliarized. Yeah. <laughs> That's really gonna take me an hour after each into each stream it's gonna take me an hour to reacclimate myself. Is Ambrose here to comment on that? <clears throat> yeah, no, there's no other button on the controller. There's just a. Uh... Nope, Ambrosia is locked behind the side quest. Here we are. Martha's Rest. I, I, this, uh, you get quite a number of side quests here, so it'll be interesting how, uh, much faster this goes by. Good girl. You barely have to but we do have a lot of running to do, so. Yeah, I got a deadline for a project on, uh... I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Uh, Let's go and find out, for like we? Monday. So I'm gonna be working on that like almost every hour of every day. Whoopsie. I knew I passed it. Do you like that? So I've been working on that project all day and I'm gonna have to work on it for the rest of the week. But I mean, I won't feel like shit if I can get a good night's sleep for once. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? I got these uh Depends who's asking. Nasal strips. And why they have an imperial bear for with uh, them. sleeping. Helps a lot. For protection, which hopefully won't I be I think needed. Clive would benefit from If them. you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. <clears throat> Bears don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strat and lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old 
friend of Sid's. Oh shit, Evo and Barbera, who joined recently. Fanfest are this are this Friday. Oh shit. So, where is it you're headed? The Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. <clears throat> is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... <clears throat> happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find no, him. No, Evo's next week. Never mind. And make sure he's safe. <clears throat> we both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another so bridge. So the level of uh, the fallen gate. Eighty, the eighty, uh, like the eighty-four times. quest. We should have now eighty-two. There's a ladder to the side of 83. the eighty-three. That's the quickest way down if you've a head for heights. <clears throat> His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Hey, it is very much a, a, a CPU-paced game, so we will to go to towns. Thing. Let's Take care of their letter. plights, get a little bit of world building in, progress the plot a little, and then run a dungeon when it's all said and done. <clears throat> so, yeah. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Hello, ladder. I'm glad you guys got down there fine. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, get away from me! Yeah, yeah. What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. Come All right, camera, it's zoom out time. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. Thank you. There we go. And that is why we stay in the air. Yeah, fuck dodging all that. It's very fun that not a lot of things can hit you out of the air, unless they're like projectiles. Off, and then I will talk. Look how much health Jill and Torgal already took off this guy. Like, that's what's so great about him. Yo, Torgal's a fucking dragoon! Just jumped on them. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. Torgal is now equal with how many jumps yes. Dion has done. I am. So we will I see by the end of the playthrough who so is the true me. Dragoon. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very <clears> grateful <throat> for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been <clears> snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Bye. Right. I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. It's crazy, man. We're playing a, fi a Final Fantasy 16. Like, it still hasn't sunk in. It came out. <clears throat> oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. 
We're very that took way longer in my own playthrough. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. Uh, we'll uh, be restreaming too, the uh, fan yeah, fest Sid, yeah. keynote. Me and him. We'll go but I back. think I'll be the only one Not around. As far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. So we got that. Right. I think I'll be the only she one. Omnia will Soon probably enough. be at work if he doesn't have the day off. Miguel's gonna be at work. Uh. Rin, I advised, may not be far enough into the story. Definitely not. For the trailer, maybe, because the trailer is probably going to be so story disconnected from what we're doing. Since we don't have, like, a proper teaser as to, or expectation of what's going to be in 7.0. And even if it was, if, like, if even if it was, even if Zero was in the trailer, eh, that's not a huge deal. So the trailer, I'm not too worried about. Um, but it's the uh, references, everything else around it. <clears throat> ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. Rin He's is fine. at a, the, the quest to leading up soon. to Endwalker <sighs> well, in post Shadowbringers 6.5.4 right did. now. The creatures out there are not to be <laughs> trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, <clears> thank <throat> you. Man, my fucking throat. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to it rest could be allergies, but I don't know. I took an allergy medication. We'd be delighted. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat's so fucked up. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth <clears throat> about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? Either to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations <clears throat> on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Fuck off. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? Uh, that's no. so fucked up. <laughs> we'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. It's not even right. grieving. Right. Of, like, a lost child. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. And it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still <clears throat> human beings. No, they And even then, it's so not what the Archduke far, wanted. Beggar wouldn't spit on him. It's a bearer opposed to a dominant. Bearers are Such just capable of magic in general. The they don't they, they don't have anything to it's do with summons. The heart of this world. <clears throat> and I'd have you see it. And there's things like bloodlines tied to dominance. That's an abbey. 
Uh, Blade bearers are completely sure random. Anyone can be yeah, born a, uh, a bearer. Friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Wait. It was good, honest work. And there can only be one bearer of each uh, element at a time. Apart from uh, our our main characters here, who are both uh, icons of uh, icons of fire. I press triangle. What? The, why the hell did I press triangle for? To interact. What the hell game was I thinking of? I knew that children were tested. That a bearer's fate was decided at birth. Yeah, like that. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know, but for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. Let's mosey. And dominants don't necessarily have to be bearers, really, because nobody else has a... Uh, the mark. Well, no, you're not born with a mark. You're not born with a mark. You were given it. So that's not true. That's not true. Bears, uh, dominants are bears as well. You'd simply say it's just the ability to manipulate ether. <clears throat> There's the Abbey. What darkness I mean when I'm going to Abbey there. Road. Let's go and see. That's why you gotta lock on before you do your air, air combos. Damn, that's a max range. I mean, it's through a tree, so I understand. Also, why are you guys even down there? Okay. Why did I press triangle to interact? There was uh, something recently about the intended buttons of the PlayStation controller, which uh, unsurprisingly, circle was confirm, X was cancel, uh, triangle is viewport, as in face forward. Good day to you. And square was menu. The Abbey is not open for public Some prayer. games are like that, like uh, Castlevania. Go with you. Castlevania trips me up every we time. to offer a donation. <clears throat> From Martha. I see. Then please follow me. I. I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light. It fades. I don't want to die alone. Magic hurts, too. It's all right. I'm here. That's why seemingly everyone gets hurt using it or people? after they summon. Except Clive, of course. He just gets migraines. Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care. That but he I doesn't cough up blood. Their suffering. To the extent that I can. For the time they have left. I 
That's why it hurts. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. <clears throat> With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> have faith, my son, for you. Yeah, shall we're the kids again that have come on to work. And find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. Very polar opposite of Xenoblade 3. A very different, a very different uh, hospital field trip. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Uh, to read more, please check the enclosed instruction booklet. To read more about the crystal's uh, curse. This character is posed like an Elden Ring or a Souls game. Uh, when, when you're creating your character in a Souls game, I think like even the background color matches up, but he's just standing there like that. Anyway. It's of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. The game doesn't touch on exactly what. Maybe it does in the closed instruction booklet, but they are treated lesser out of out of fear because they have magic. They're more powerful. They're more we capable. We get back to Martha's rest. Uh, if yes. they rose up in rebellion, you know, that would be it, but it's a, a, a fear to, you know, be in line. Uh, not the first we've seen of something like that, of course, in media, but that's the general concept, and I think exa uh, more on the surface what they're going for. Um, I feel like a part of it, it, it why it, it started, it is what it. I said it was. Um, part of something that probably led to that too was if you had a loved one that was using magic, uh, you're gonna lose that, you're gonna lose that connection with them because you're gonna lose them earlier in life. But I mean, they're not destined to die, they're only destined to die if they use their magic, so... But that is why, like, you give up that kid because that kid's not going to live long. The bearers are not going to live uh, as long as anyone else. Why bear connections to them? Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. But that's only relevant in the context the of had a message for you. using Two them for their succumbed. magic. I see. Come upstairs. It's been 25 minutes. That did not take as long as I thought. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's <clears throat> plenty who pity a bearer's plight. 
But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you Badge for number two, let's go. I know that Again, that's how fucked up the uh here. the the bearer tattoo is, you know. You you need something like You were right, Sid. Else. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. <clears throat> And long may they stay. Alrighty. Level up. 55, 54. I can count. What's next? East pool? East pool. Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Take <laughs> your hand. <laughs> I did, I. Yep. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Yep. It's Goots! Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. This is a Goots check-in. Post, don't retweet. If you check in on Nan today. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I would force that to, like, be posted if there was ever a moment where, where Goots uh, fist bump someone. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. <clears throat> I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Oh uh, yeah, last time we find out, uh, Clive killed his brother. Look lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. 
and Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So right, then. I think it's still uh <clears throat> I think it's still a bit until Chocobo time. It will be a plus, so not these ones. Alright, let's mosey. Got a dungeon to get to, I think. I hear the levies are due to go. So, expansion 7.0, teaser. And for teaser, the trailer is still going to be like two minutes because those openings are so long. South. Pushing yet more monsters down Oh, Eastpool is another town. That's not a dungeon. I guess I will be seeing a few along the way. <clears throat> then we shall have to keep our wits about us. This is where this is where the blight like is shown well enough that it makes sense what it is. Even though we have done a whole dungeon in the beginning of the game, the one with the Malboro and goblins, when we were still young, we were we've already been in the blight. But it's not like totally properly conveyed until uh, this point. Wow! I wasted all my double jumps. I can't wait for this shit to be on PC. God damn. Hello. You there? Over here. No. Sorry, should have had a plus by your head. Months, yeah. Oh man. Oh, it'll, it, a Noctis mod will be so heartbreaking. There's Warp Strike esque abilities, though. Well, why did the camp. Hey, hey, no, focus here. Oh, it was focusing. It was focusing, and then I was changing it back to the target I didn't want it to. Finished. Oh, I see. <laughs> it makes the gameplay worse. Well, funny enough, you know, the, the biggest criticism now is about the game's difficulty. And here's the thing, it's Final Fantasy XV was so... Was, was such a laughingstock for its gameplay because it was way too easy. Um... Because there was actually a surprising amount of death to Final Fantasy XV's combat. Noctis had, um, aerial directions, not just on his normal attacks and all of his basic strings, his combos, but also on his air strings as well. There was a lot of depth to Final Fantasy XV's combat. And then they added more party members. And that added even more depth, because they were more magic inept. Uh, uh, adept. They were not inept. So that added a lot more variety in what you do, but there's no reason to ever do any of that. There is zero reason to ever explore any of that because Noctis can warp strike in and mash in through the whole game. So... Um... Yeah, I imagine one of the first... I don't even think you'll need Cheat Engine. I think it'll happen so fast. They need to unlock Final Fantasy mode from the beginning. The other thing is, though, you also need to start at like right. level 50 for Final Fantasy Isn't mode. It? Yes. Or maybe like level 40. You. You're Clive Rossfield. Oh, we're going to get our outfit. Sorry, I spoiled that. I was just excited. Huh? It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Reminder. Murdoch. Oh, I knew it was you. 
You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so Sarah good from to the Terror Wars crossover. Again. That's what it was. Had more chemistry with Nock than he did with Luna. Yep. It's good to see you too. That Thank DLC, you. all the uh, DLC stuff <gasps> updates for 15 were so good, both gameplay wise because they actually engaged in in how the game was designed and stuff like that crossover. Even the uh, 14 crossover is funny. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. Very well done. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. But yeah, there was no interact. There was no reason for that, and that's the criticism here again. Is we should be delighted. Um, you do have DMC character action combat, and it's fucking phenomenal. And it feels a lot more satisfying than 15. That's for sure. You know, it's ve it's a very satisfying and rewarding system. And you have been wandering the world. There's no reason to really engage with it outside of your own curiosity and testing yourself. Because um, there's nothing like you know weaknesses. Oh. There are like enemies like such a magic age. ones that cast shell and stuff. And mechanics during boss fights, right? So hopefully some DLC fights for this game will offer but, uh, or be designed to be more challenging. Easy, but we survived and And yeah, she's looking at the uh we're back. It's wonderful to see you Prior royalty well, have a bearer mark. They might be, though not all of a, uh, not all of fourteen side quests are considered canon. So I'm not until a character here. in the fourteen main story references Noctis. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. I guess it doesn't hurt considering a canon in fifteen. For me. We so can have fun I with can that. Live here in peace. Here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Annabelle. The one that doesn't like Clive, but uh, liked Joshua a lot. Because Joshua oh, was a, I, I didn't mean gifted to. with a, summon a icon, and Clive there was is not. There nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Bet. Oh. You haven't heard then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. So Clive also killed Rodney. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? This may not be a good time to discuss like a dragon guide, I but I will in like two minutes. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. See, I didn't spoil it. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years. Without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. 
that I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. It can't be emphasized enough because it's it's tell don't I'm show sorry. here. But she's used as a weapon and wants to die for it. Do you remember that night on the balcony? Not anymore, but when we looked up at the moon. I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Now I'm here for a real reason. We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. <laughs> if it's going to be like Kaito Files size, I'm not surprised. Clear the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, well, before Elwyn became Archduke. I love this outfit. Summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. Well, it changed my sword. Hey, His clothes have been in a put my sword back. Days, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. <laughs> it changed my sword. Oh, I got a new sword. Oh, Never mind. For them. Is it better? Sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what, what are its stats? Would have wanted. They suit you well. Jill gets really harmed by. There's a rule of show, don't Thank tell. You, Lady Hannah. And Jill yes. has to tell a thank lot you. instead of show. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. That's why I have to emphasize it. you again took me back to happier times. Because she gets underplayed in that regard. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. But I don't know. Uh, it should have. I think it should be physical, but I mean. Invictus. Plus one, so it is better. Maybe. Oh, hell yeah, it's way better. Yep. All the gear better? Yep. Uh, that HP is minor gain, so... Yeah, give me all better stuff. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Oh, we're still going there. Oh, I'm just... No, yeah, we're in Eastpool. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I remember Eastpool being more... Horizontal. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold, hold the phone here. Hold on. Hold on. 
I doubt this game. If you're buying, I'm selling. Has a. Uh, has. Never mind, I already own it. Come Never mind. Back soon, no. Okay, pretend that didn't happen. Anyway. Yeah, they said it was like Kaito Files length, right? So. Um. Y you. Those are Elwins. Kind of makes sense. My and friends. in general, in, in the current scope You're of games. I hate it, Clive dude. I wish they were all physical. You're mistaken. But goddamn, everyone's dropping physical releases and it fucking sucks. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. I hope Jill fights <laughs> Gilgamesh. Why? You'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. The Mayor. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. If it was like, if like a Dragon Gaiden was a PS4 game, if it came out during the era of Zero, Kiwami, and Kiwami 2, like a Dragon Gaiden would get a physical release, even if it's smaller. That's the problem. It would have 100% got a digital release, a physical release. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right. Lord Rosfield, bequeathed you by your late father, and they'd be better. Clive off would look so sick in like here. the Symphony Indeed. of the Night art style, Many the pixel art to style. Serve your house, and still considered the Rosfields their masters. And get an Alucard mod. Master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke oh, This is main story. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Finer man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Hello, well. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. All right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Yeah, if only Clive had a had a shield. 
I almost called him Clyde. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Pool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. You <laughs> say that like it's his fault. Over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me. Dude got tell stabbed. I don't know what to know. tell you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either. Though I doubt you'll have gone far. He you take it over Joshua, but that's a little late. For something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. I feel like no, there was a there was a no topic I brought today. up and I wanted to get back to it. Honey, it was not he's usually down by the like a dragon. Uh, I'm good on that. Cooking up his fantasy uh, feasts. I'm sorry. I said what oh, I needed to about fifteen. He I think. in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Um. Living in a dream. It's seven, yeah. So, so on Friday we'll have Better a. Here, I like I said, fan, fan fest and restream the keynote. Stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Expecting a 7.0 announcement. Anyway. Be Probably a new job, if not a teaser. The path to stray too far. Um, I'm tired of cursing things. So I'm not going to tell you that I think it'll be a Blitzballer for the new job. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocolate but if might know where he that is. is the new physical range job, because we, we are lined up to get a physical to range speech. job. He'll be in the stables. To make everything even. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. Um, and if it's not announced, like, this time, it would be pretty hard to... I'm sorry, Jill. Like, tease that in any form through a t-shirt that Making isn't obvious. In my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stage. This is what Yoshi P does, is he teases things uh, with the t-shirts he wears to FanFest. There's not... I don't know if you could tease that in any way without being extremely... I don't even think you could be cryptic about it. Without it being solved like live. Bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else. When did Eleven place. stop adding jobs? You must be Patrick. Then I again, am, Eleven's uh, not nearly as worried about its job balance and, and raid meta. He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. That's 22 jobs in 11. Yeah, 11 is still being updated. It's just not receiving uh, new, new content. Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about it's it's got fight. like patch tier He's content, but it doesn't have the. I, I don't left. think it has new expansions the anymore. Are coming to collect him, and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble, but if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Corsair would be so fucking cool. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Yeah, Corsair would be I hope cool. He hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. I'm not sure in the grand scheme of things it could be justified. 
Um, I don't know if the story for Eleven is done. I have to assume it is. Still no sign. Uh, yep, that way. Straight even further. Yeah, Corsair's a, always a cool-looking job. Though there are a bunch of Eleven ones to still pull from, and I know they're... At this point, I think they're more interested in new ones, though. Twenty thirteen is the last expansion which had new jobs. So it receives updates Look, in terms of like patches. But yeah, no expansions for stories. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. Uh oh. We can't lead them to the old man. Those they things instant die. KO, better watch out. It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> no, the PS2 just came out. The NES and the Super Nintendo are retro. No, the PS2 is not retro, it just came out. It would be really funny if they just send, like, a, a boss here. A mini-boss into this fight. Just to check on this old man. These wolves might be new. Because I, I feel like it was just the bees. No, 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 no. The wolves are actually story-relevant. Actually, yeah, the story, the, the wolves are story relevant. They're supposed to be there, but it would be really funny if they just threw a, a mini boss in there. In fact, I think they should have done it. Are you all right, my friend? Come on, let's go home. Your grace, you came for me. I waited for the you eleven so was long. a lot more uh, freeform in design. Came. I'm not who you think. And definitely built around uh, playing with friends, or in groups, or finding groups. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? Oh. No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. Maybe there's still a place in the kitchens? I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. And then we will give you a kitchen. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Jesus Christ. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. I don't know what Damn job so Omnia bad. wants. Uh, no, never mind. Omnia wants Bliss Baller. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here. I don't know. We My really honest do. expectation is unless a miracle something happens, new. We won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them. And Blitzballer is new, but uh, like, <laughs> still new. Is it really that bad? So bad. 
I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Yep, the Enemies directions the have Empire. to do with uh, the development teams and their preferences and directions. Give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave the ones that prefer... Uh... As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Actually, you know what you want? You want Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X is not back. either of those. I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. I'm gonna throw uh, this image up as to why uh, there's really two hard those two hard categories for how Final Fantasy games uh, use their designs. Uh, it is because of the uh, branch and developers. In in uh, unexpect un, 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 unexpected surprise, the developers that went on to from Final Fantasy VI to work on seven also worked on eight. Were also worked on ten. Also worked on thirteen. Seven remake. They also worked on you know Kingdom Hearts and Tabata over there with his Type Zero and fifteen. And then the other side of it is nine, which I mean in the middle here, but nine's definitely more reminiscent of the, of anything on the right side. You know, tactics, vagrant story, all evilly stuff like twelve, and then that's where eleven, fourteen, and sixteen also reside. And then suddenly, th this series makes more sense. Uh, is that was that? Beast against beast. I thought it was beast against the machine, which is already, I'm pretty sure, uh, something in Final Fantasy 14. There is definitely something against the machine in in Final Fantasy 14, possibly more than one. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil, and when the last drop is drained, their fields will. That bird just died. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. And this is out where the... Be able to use any magic this here. is what it looks like around the hideout, to too, out. as well. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. It's just dead. Take away the lad's life force. And problems are all that's left. And it really doesn't... It doesn't hit until here, because there are no encounters this whole I stretch. I imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Not a single fight in all of that stretch. You know, and that's what makes it sink in. There it is. Phoenix Gate. I want more mages. Where it all went wrong. But I don't actually know if I want more mages because of how 14, uh... Come on, Clive. Not streamlines, but... It's time to discover the truth. Yeah, we gotta do that. Because everything in 14 has to be balanced because the, there's a raid meta. And that raid meta is, is too important to um, do wacky stuff. Can't do wacky, really wacky stuff anymore. No more, you know, ninjas uh, giving other class, giving other players their aggro. You know, that's not a thing anymore. Um, I don't think I used any items, so we can stay there. And we'll just get in there. All those cut abilities, cleric stance, which in some cases those are good choices. I probably wouldn't play a tank if they were how they used to be. 
Though I don't want to play healers because they're not how they used to be. You know. But... They had a lot more fun in in the variety of things they could do early it's on. Almost as if time had stood still. But the raid meta is so important, and it's important to, in maintaining because there really isn't a meta in that here. point. Because the idea is every uh, job in any party composition that fits the I roles can pass any content. It doesn't matter what. But they have to maintain that. You can play whoever the fuck you want, and you're still going to be able to get into parties for the hardcore content. It doesn't matter. But they have to maintain that. Let's have a look around. And if they want to keep upping the... challenge and reward of the content, they got to really establish that, because they really don't yeah, want... Could anyone? Oh yeah, that's there by the way. They really don't want to uh... Oh, don't want anyone to get alienated for playing a certain job that they want to play. And they've done too good of a job at that, is what I'm saying. They've done too good of a job at that. What and don't let do? anyone tell you otherwise. We can make fun of machinists a lot. There's a lot to make fun of with machinists. You won't get turned down for what you do with them. That's him. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. If you guys don't want... I mean, we are still, like, in the first, like, half of the game, but, uh... If you guys uh, miss, like, the end of last stream and don't want spoilers... Uh, it's up to you. I enjoy everyone being here. Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning. And listen to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo Tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Final Fantasy X. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. <laughs> I read something really funny from Sakaguchi. <laughs> Let me pull it up. Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Yeah, now the blessings passed on, so... Never more. This is it the darkness quote? Yeah. Final Fantasy creator Hironobu Sakaguchi explains how the character of Shadow was added to Final Fantasy VI, who is a edgy uh, ninja in Final Fantasy VI. 
parody of Nomura, Mr. Katase, go on, put in some darkness. <laughs> Another gate. Let's the domino. <laughs> it's the first domino in the domino effect. That's where it all started. <laughs> could this place really be a fallen ruin? You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Uh, I fucking like love Nomura. Like <laughs> now what do we say? <laughs> Nomura, even when Nomura is just the dude in the art department, right? He's just a guy in the art department. <laughs> he still got that through. Uh. Jill? Oh shit, everything's going wrong at this what current moment. The usual. We're surrounded, we don't know where we are, and my fucking controller battery's low. Okay, I plugged it in. Yo, they're level 54. Oh, this dungeon's gonna be fun. Hopefully. Oh fuck, I got hit out of the air, well. Huh, that was weird. Actually, no, that was intentional. More trouble. And fuck that orb. Oh shit. Damn. Damn, they do so much damage. I, I'm telling you, exact. You know, actually, yeah, Final Fantasy difficulty is actually difficult. I really am just having a much easier time because I'm using so many defense power ups. Which I found out last stream get even better. I don't think I need him at this point, but... Goddamn Alligan ruins. How can these things still function? How can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Let's go. Oh, yeah, no elements in this game. Oh, this time. oh, wait, hold on. I'm dealing with a real enemy. Shit, all right. Oh shit, wow, what a waste. Yeah, I got so used to trash mobs, I forgot about fighting actual enemies. Oh shit. Disagree. All right. Oh, that's gonna kill. Why? Well, oh yeah, I was talking about Ratchet and Clank the other. Oh, damn it! I wasted all my limit break. 
Earth Apart, where they try to get the game to run on a base PS4 using uh, a similar spec PC, or minimum specs with the uh, PS4 launch hard drive. And I wouldn't consider that playable. I really wouldn't. Um, I don't know. This is, if, if somebody doesn't get it at this point, I think they're a lost cause. Uh, that game really is gonna be a pain in the ass to play if you don't have a, a drive that loads it fast enough. Um, and most certainly, not only does it, not only is an SSD required, but an MVME is required to run it smoothly. I think that's the craziest part. It does not even say the SSD is as smooth, uh, like smooth enough. Like you need to put that on a M.2. I think that's the craziest part. So, Looks like, you can take it like the, even if the PS5, PS4 had an SSD in it, it would not be fast enough for the game to play smoothly. Oh, shit. Oh, what a mess. Oh god, I was looking at the other one. This is... This is a fucked up boss fight. Mini boss fight. This is fucked up. This is what I'm talking about. Oh shit. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, we parry. Oh, fuck. This is what I'm talking about. Wow, I died from that. Holy fuck. Easy difficulty unlocked. Where to put me? Oh, fuck off. Man, that walk of shame in the 14 dungeons. It's really making you do it. I don't think I've ever died in a dungeon before. I've never... I don't think I've game over to an enemy that wasn't like a boss. And even if that happened, you can count on all like one hand how many times that happened. How tall are you? So I didn't know they made you do the walk of shame. It's all right, we'll fuck him up this time. This is going better because Jill's actually uh, successfully distracting the other one. I said it before, but it's so fucked up how hard the parry timing in this game is and in Tears of the Kingdom, like, the parry time and dodge windows are so tight in Tears of the Kingdom. I think it's so fucked up in Tears of the Kingdom to literally watch Link, like, do a perfect dodge over, a, like, a horizontal swing. You know, the enemy does, like, a horizontal swing, and you jump over the swing, but you don't get the slowdown the fl for the flurry rush. That, that actually upset me. Like that when that couldn't have looked cooler. This time. Oh 
when we get to an enemy that that actually lives through Giga Flare, we'll have to uh, give them a rousing speech and commend their strength. But now it's time for me to show them my true power and what I'm truly capable of. Anyway, yeah, um, I wouldn't play Ratchet and Clank on PC unless you have an MVME. Unless you're fine with a little bit of loading times. That's why they, t they can technically say, you know, the game does run perfectly fine on those lower specs. <laughs> you just have loading times. You have really shitty loading times. Whatever they are, I don't think they're friendly. And I don't think that trade-off is, uh, worth it. You know, I, I was there. I lived through PS1 load times. I'm not eager to go back. I lived through console load times because even on PS4, that shit was unbearable. If you go back to PS4, if you go back to consoles after using SSDs for so long, it's miserable. So, uh, oh no. Reflect felt really difficult. Yeah. Imperfect dodge felt too easy. I mean, in Breath of the Wild, it felt just right to me. In Tears of the Kingdom, I couldn't get either to happen. The timing window on both felt tighter. And not only did the timing feel tighter, but the rewards didn't feel as good. Because in Tears of the Kingdom, the... Weapon damage scale is so fucked in Tears of the Kingdom because you need... You absolutely need to be uh, merging your stuff. You need to be fusing. If you're not fusing, you're doing pitiful damage that's wasting your time and wasting the durability of your stuff if you're not taking advantage of fusion. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. Hmm. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Yeah, the bombs would have like cheered for Joshua. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't Simply the courage to refuse fusing. If that's the case, you can't complain about uh, bullet sponge enemies. If you play RE2 and don't do headshots and you don't cripple their legs by shooting their legs off. Don't talk about the enemies being bullet sponges. Oh, this is fucked. What in the goddamn? This is fucked. This is fucked. Holy shit. I don't rem This is fucked up. I, I'm getting filtered. Holy fuck. All right, the others are taken care of. There's one node left, but I think uh, Torgal's got it. And Jill. They're doing great over there. What the hell did I parry? Oh, shit. I'm pretty fond of this game and Kingdom Hearts uh, parries. I should have, uh, pr <laughs> Not many get to make it past my Giga Flare. I guess I gotta show you, show you what I'm truly capable of. <laughs> it's your lucky day. You get to witness the Zansetsuka. They brought more enemies out. 
I can't parry that, right? I, you know what? It's not even worth trying. Three and four. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is fucked up. Well, wrong counters. I wonder if he'll shoot another projectile for me. Oh my god, there's another one alive. God damn. I forgot the sounds come out of my controller. All right, now we're talking. Holy shit, we're not done. Uh, I don't have that on deck. Are you gonna let me get away with it? Are they gonna let me get away with it? They let me... Shit. I didn't hit an enemy. If you don't hit an enemy on the first swing, you don't get the full move. Oh, I'm out of high potions. Holy shit. I'm worried about him at this point because enemies do so much damage. Like, I need to... Heal just I need to heal that much. Look out. There's more of them. They'll fall like the rest. Oh. No. Yes, keep attacking the shiny blue orb. I hope there's no boss behind me. Okay, good. Do it. I thought he was going to do something more drastic. I will say, I don't recall any bombs blowing up in my first playthrough. So, we, and we've seen that multiple times now. Oh, goddamn. The new DPS is Bombarder, and Nashu is the new job trailer uh, trainer. It has to. Be, I don't like this. I guess Bombarder. No grenades, no weapon, just packing bombs. Like how you used to pack grenades in like, uh, Seems I guess the older games. Mutual. They did that with shock runs. Oh, 
This time. Yeah, everyone's favorite, Iron Giant. I don't think Iron Giant has a projectile. Oh, too soon. So we'll just go ahead and do it. Oh shit, he has a projectile. God damn it. Like I said, dodge into the hitboxes. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Decimate that stagger. Oh, fuck off. I timed that. Oh. Oh. I didn't swap to Odin. I'm gonna lose out on DPS. Was that a, supposed to give us to what? Oh fuck! It's drawing in energy. Not so long it is. With me. Yeah, they need to do shit like that so they can build the player's counters. Here we go, here we go. I got it. All under control. All under control. This is our chance. Oh, I forgot to fucking pull him. Oh, well, I already pulled him in the fight. Wow, that I almost died. In real life. Three and four. Let's go again. Oh my god, it's gonna get the kill. 
Let's fucking go. We need to get level 5 for the screen split, though. There's the only thing I would give is for, uh... I mean, uh, there's enough time. I probably could just build the meter enough with the blade and then do Dancing Steel. I should do that, because that'll definitely get me the level 5 easier. There's more than enough time for a few swings. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Wow. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Uh, we don't need that stuff. Let's go. Damn, I'm going to have to buy so many potions after this fight. Oh, for Friday. Um, no Tekken. Tekken doesn't have lobbies, so we would never have streamed Tekken in the first place. I, I didn't even get a code. I don't think any of us got codes either anyway so no Tekken uh Max doesn't have a console any console so uh we might do Grand Blue for like an hour me and Floppy you know for an hour or two uh but Street Fighter will still be like probably Friday all right then but remember also Fan Fest earlier in the day on Friday it's the Lich! And us with no way to use curatives on him. Fuck! I hate fighting the Lich so much. This is a hard fight. What? Oh my god. He recovered insanely fast. Oh fuck, wrong one. Well, never mind about charging up Zansetsuka and I just fucking blew it. I also put the fucking lightning bolt too close. Nope, reforce it. Shit. Reforce it. Too slow. What the hell was that thing? It wasn't like the others. It would seem this place holds even more secrets than we thought. What a cool fight. I'm glad I'll never have to do it again. Haha. -ha. Heavens to Betsy, that would be terrible. Anyway. That's not a projectile. Do it again, I dare you. Uh... 
close enough. <laughs> it's like, is, does that count as a projectile? And you know, I'm still unsure. I'm still unsure. Wasted it. Wasting meter. What have we here? I've also always thought about Another Beastmaster. Um, Geomancer. But I mean, at this point, with how many times they've been references, and also how the games are designed, I don't think Beastmaster or Geomancer uh, could be done in a satisfying way. Unless they take liberties with it, and if, like, PvP feels better, like, you know, like, like a machinist feels more like a machinist traditionally in, uh, in PvP in, in 14. This must be the only healer. That was a healer, right? They're all wraiths. It's over. Those ninja gaiden attacks do more damage than I thought. Did something. There's like rune mage, but I don't know if that really like fits either. That's why Sage was such an interesting pick. But I don't know. We don't really need more healers. Healer needs something, but I don't think it's another job. It's it's hard because uh they may just do a fucking one job, and if they do enough, if they do one job, well here's the thing, right? Is they were talking about Kryle being story relevant potentially for 7.0. I become more unsure of things as I get every prediction wrong. But that feels like it came I'm pretty sure that came from an interview was Kryle would be important. And if Kry you know Kryle arguably do for like some story time, main story time. Uh especially if we're not Palin as uh Scions. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Like all together. Apparently not. If we got to introduce more characters. Um, but would Kryle get a new job? Uh, no, no one's actively streaming Fortnite on the channel. It all seems to so anyway. To this room. And look what's in it. Mural time. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Clive. I was gonna say, I wouldn't have been surprised if I got a migraine tonight, but so far it seems we're good. You're, Clive can't say it's the same. You're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? Mm. 
I already played the song. Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Dubai, accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran from everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. fight where I found out that you can still get hurt even if you dodge something correctly. If it has a consistent hitbox like the dodge, like that charge does. Aw. 
Hey, could you like jump and throw a projectile? I'm, I'm getting nowhere with this. I gotta move. I gotta jump. I gotta get in there. I gotta just throw. Oh, fuck off! What a waste. Well, I wouldn't have been able to counter those, I don't think. Wow, I timed that. I didn't get any reward out of it, but I timed it. I didn't get any reward for that. I'm just not going to target. Oh, now it's targeting defeat. Let's go. I was hoping that would be close enough. Scorched Earth. Well, if there was more to this fight, I think we're going to end up seeing it at this rate. I got lucky. Yeah, come here. It gets over here. Too soon. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm stuck. Wow. If I didn't have any of the accessories I have on and I got hit by that, I would have died. That would have been a game over from a hit like that. Oh, too soon. I got nervous. Uh oh. Let's go. And... Fuck him up. Oh my god. It, it's not- it's aiming for his foot, not his face. Oh, whatever. Damage is damage no matter where you go. Oh my god, that killed him. Wow, that was fucking sick. Nah, no Roblox, sorry. Other abilities. 
Oh, that wasn't a counter. That was a waste. Oh, God damn it, he did do a projectile. Oh, well. Uh, all right, good shot. Do it again. I was kidding. No, I wasn't. Damn, that timing is hard. Where the Las Vegas Sphere is actually a blitzball stadium. That would be fantastic. I like the joke that it's Ozma. But it would be very funny to get more, uh, for, the, for that to be the case. Fuck Ozma. Damn, this form has way more health. I will do my extra hits after uh, the Zonset or after the Dancing Steel. Oh, I should have done it before. Damn, what a fucking waste. See how little damage that does if you don't do it like that? Zanzetsuken's a joke if you don't use it during the fucking stagger. Unless you're clearing mobs, because it does, like, practically insta-kill every mob in the game. This is where you're supposed to unlock Limit Break, by the way. Oh, that scared me. But yeah, that's what's going on. Oh shit, he's not done! Holy shit! Oh shit, I missed this midpoint. Oh well. Well, at least I I framed through that. Oh, that's no- I thought that was way closer to off cooldown. Almost there. Oh, I sunset Sukin. God damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> Only a measly 91k damage. Disagree. That felt good. Darkest. 
to me! Shit, I thought it was on cooldown. Off cooldown. Where red is R1. Wait, right? Shit. I hope that's right. No escape, eh? 15 year old Clive. Which, right. which one's blue and which one's red? I'm done running from you. I guess I'll have to pay attention to the context. Together. Then. It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. Oh my god, it still gives you full limit. That's so sick. Let's fucking go. Oh, you're gonna give me infinite limit? Holy shit, I'm gonna do so much damage. When we get him off that stagger, we're gonna do so much damage. Oh my god, I gotta execute this perfectly. Oh right, I'm already in it. I forgot I was already in limit break. Fuck it, this is already gonna give me a lot of damage. This is already gonna be a new record. Good news, Limit Break doesn't affect uh, Zansetsuken gain. Oh, never mind, that's not a new record. Damn! Wow, maybe Limit Break does suck. No way, man. That should have given me way more damage. I can't believe Limit Break doesn't actually give you that much more. Oh, well. Enough. Enough. I know the truth of it now. It's so sick.
Clive, are you all right? Welcome back. Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Hey, where you been? Sap, dude. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. It's deep. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle. And I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers, together. I want to learn the truth, too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. I think all I needed were some flashbacks. Just some flashbacks for Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Blasted. <laughs> I just remembered what happens. Uh, this is fucked up. This is so fucked up. 
delivered who who delivered the coffin said he said Sid paid him I let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me find out where he is Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last war of hunter. Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! I didn't question it before. I don't think Sid actually so did next? that. We returned to East Pool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again about Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she I don't think Sid did leave. that. I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. Damn, oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, there's a... I <laughs> think he did. It would be funny. I thought, it's a little far for Sid. I thought... I didn't really think of it much at first, because it was just... Toggle, what is it? Pretty fucking mean always, prank. Yeah. Come on. Um. To just like you know, send a severed head to to a, a lover. I don't think Sid actually did that. But on the first playthrough, I did just here? not question that Sid did it. Imperials, you'll pay for this. Ah, Oops. We've got a live one. What are you doing here? Answer me. Oh no, the village has been attacked. Remember our orders? No survivors! Ooh, the such a thing. Oh, the Imperial? Had to be the king. Uh, or the queen. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. I see how it's gonna be. Thank you, Jill. That's enough. <laughs> 
Be sure to always thank your wife when she heals your gray health. Yeah, get him, Torgal. All right, you did enough. Yeah, no, I, I just chalked it up as one of Sid's antics, but you know what? That's a little far for Sid, and Sid definitely... There, there was a very apparent point of how much Sid still cared about Benedicta. Even if he doesn't care about Hugo, I don't know if that... I don't know if that really outweighs how much he still cared about Benedicta. Not enough to personally decapitate her. Especially because we saw in cutscene the last time Sid was with Benedicta at her at her body. Like they literally showed that. There was no point in which you saw him do that or do anything else, he left. He left and there was no uh, imp uh, implication that he went back. But I didn't think of that the first playthrough. Yeah, I'll dancing steel. I feel like I'm done fighting these mobs. I don't know why I didn't target the other mobs during this, but that's whatever. Only level three, that's not gonna kill them all. But it did do a fucking ton of damage. I just pressed triangle to jump. <laughs> Holy shit, there's so many. Stay <laughs> down. That's enough. That was lucky. Shit, no, I had it. Come here, attack me. All right, they're out of range. God damn it. Oh, what was it? What was taunt? I forget taunt. I thought it was touchpad. Oh shit, what a waste. That was R2 plus touchpad or something. Uh, they put the uh, Oracle games on uh, Switch Online today, so playthroughs of those will happen at some point. Not anytime soon, but... I was waiting for them to be on Switch before playing them. Damn, are we even done? Alright, shit, man. Who sheltered Where's them? My phone? By Empress Annabella's command. My mother ordered this. 
It was the queen. I know. You can wait. Nope. Get this motherfucker first. I thought that would be faster. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. I don't know where my phone is. Holy shit, the enemies level fast. The last dungeon were level 54 enemies. We are already at 57. You get to see the full force of my Zansen Suken. Level 5 Zansen Suken. Everything's on cooldown. I felt good. Uh, I gotta find my phone. Found my phone. Good news, nobody, nobody, nobody texts me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Gav! Clive! This is a Gav check-in. I can't remember any Gav quotes. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? The Gav doesn't go on about his nan. We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. That she did. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Yeah, he's on board. Your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. Mm. 
When you're ready, then. Now, rats, uh -oh. lead me to your nest. Lord Kubka's message for your leader. <laughs> you grab my goodbyes and don't know where it. it is. <laughs> uh, hopefully the next uh, dungeon starts sooner rather than later. Yes, it does. To sit solo, then. We have a lot Ooh. to discuss. Locked out. Now you done fucked up. Barking at his lot earlier. No pluses. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't enough. know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? the best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Grand idea. We're up 15. I always like that 15 save the prelude for the very, very end of the game. But this game really uses it liberally. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. I didn't know we had the flower in this scene. Your radiance?
If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. I must pause to explain. Is there a map? Please give me a goddamn map. Uh. God damn it. All right, I'll explain it later. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't care if they starve. <laughs> The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. I am a bit hungry. San is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your Radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of Great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the thirds? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. That couch looks so uncomfortable. I bet those pillars are those pillows are also made of stone. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. His son is Dion. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. <laughs> I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. Mm. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. The goddamn church. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the Mother Crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this ear fits more easily in the pocket. But the Mother Crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. Yeah, Zoe and I are pretty crazy, That's where huh? it's all going, mind. Well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. They're ether, a gift from the heavens. For centuries. 
centuries. Nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Hmm. hmm. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Hmm. Higher-ups? The gods themselves? <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. And that wouldn't have been that wouldn't have made for as well of an allegory. potions for this you're gonna need like eight uh fucking world map the empire is chilling up here that's where we just were in that one cutscene and they want to take over here this independent state right here fuck Uh, this is an independent state, uh, with, uh, treaty with everyone, so they don't get attacked. Uh, that's about to change. And this is all desert, to the south. Don't mind me, just taking a quick... And don't worry about anything to the east because that won't be relevant so for a long God's while. The second corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time. Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Wait, I just realized all the shit we got to do to get there. Maybe we won't finish this tonight. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tires bore bile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. Fuck me. I just remembered how. Well, maybe it'll go by faster with. Uh... I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Clive, was it? I might be faster with no uh, high auto, no side quest. So you're really going through with it? Since we've been talking uh... about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him, but that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> Well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. 
Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. The checkpoint. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back, and she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but who is this dame, and where will I find her? Uh, we are looking she's for the, the Doge. She's of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. So this Tifa, how will I know if I've seen her? She's good with books? Alliant reports tell you about side quests in other areas. Too bad we're not doing them. Notify Gav. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Goddamn right. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. No, oh, so much for the four-man party. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... Come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. Hmm. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Correct. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And, did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cut a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. You two behave now. Let's mosey, Torgal. Uh, let's see how how fast this uh, goes without side quests. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this Dane finds me? But how did the Only 600 more yalms. Never mind. Only 400 more yams. Sorry, lads.
There was an annoying as fuck hunt that was in this area that took me way longer than I should have to find. Doing the hunts in this game definitely requires, like, uh, more effort than it should. Just like in Final uh, Fantasy XIV, if you don't have friends. Northry. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel. But that was north of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south. Wow, that is so weird I came from this direction. Because normally... You take this route here, you go this way, and then you come up, and you come through the, like, actual main entrance. We just went around the main entrance. Yeah, 15, pick up a hunt at the Ready. diner. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. <laughs> Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. I hate to say I don't remember what Sid did Which for Which brings her. us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. A dungeon. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless. Unless. <laughs> Tell you what Sid didn't do. Unless, of course. His master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Reprisal of faking being a woman's bearer. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. What's really Early funny is be. the branded mark Why superseding Clive's outfit. Safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. 
Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. Yeah, you and your nice outfit and your fucking cape. And your new game plus ass sword. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. No, no, if it but wasn't for the didn't. sunglasses. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. No, we could just run off right now. Can't fucking miss it once we leave out the other side. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. It's a fucking door. You do not go inside. Thank you for seeing me through the The gates, Vale is this front lady. yard. <laughs> I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes. Otto asked me to yes, help them I need you to well. go deliver orange but juice to, to everybody question, in the Vale. I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne oh, has been man. gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I began to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. If we haven't established how fucking trust. shitty and people are to, to bears. And crying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. It's the coach. I should probably start here. Let's suck him off, boss. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. Where the goat is the of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. Smile's animation. From the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan. And she Ren has nothing to do mother, with the gooch. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. You tell me. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. <laughs> Spent every gilly earned on Tatienne. 
and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison, did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. The man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. The barracks scene I'm thinking of is later, right? Oh, I'm gonna fuck around with the dudes at the barrack right now. That's the day done then. Heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man. With no, a I was thinking of a side design. quest. I was thinking of a side looking quest. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. <laughs> Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will He's be with the gooch. Oh, good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. We should just go. <laughs> Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. The gooch thanks you. Uh, when Evo happens early August, I think that I think Evo is next weekend. Uh, they seem to be doing their announcements on Friday at, at, uh, at the panels because Evo always has panels. It looks like for this year, How many the announcements won't be uh, full. Uh, at uh, top six because there is no top eight at Evo this year on Sunday. It's top six Sunday. So, um, that's enough for today, Brandon. I'm gonna show you something fucked up. Hope Ambrosia is okay. That's just there. That's just part of the. That's just part of it. That is there for you to come across, and it is for a side quest. We're not gonna do the side quest, but holy ah, shit! You. Still work to be Finding the like that that side quest relevant body is there, and then going to do is the side quest, and it's like, oh no. I know what they're talking about already in this side says, quest. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Holy, like, holy shit. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. 
Oh, so we'll be restreaming Evo's announcements on Friday. Next Friday. And I need to find her. Since we don't have to wait for top six as the Sundays. The whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Let me see what the side quest is. Oh shit, is it two of them? That does happen, there's like side quests connected. It might be two of them. The, the side quests in this area are worth doing. Even We're though they're not required. The but we gotta move, so. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach. The constable from the constabulary. The Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Bitch. Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which she <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But... Although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was... There was going to be uh, I mean, one surprise announcement, helpful. at least, from Evo. Um, on the schedule for it, they have a surprise announcement from a surprise developer, so we don't know who the developer of the announcement, uh, game is. Um, if we're not supposed to know the developer, I think that means French bread for, uh, Undernight, right? It could just be French bread. Or, uh... It smells of death here, Togo. Atlas. <laughs> Game Freak. Wolves. We can't let them get any yeah, we'll be trying to uh, poke in again. So, um, I'm thinking French bread, since we already know Undernight is getting another game. Though, once, uh, you know, everything was going on with, uh, Melty, though, and Tsukihime, I think we're supposed to still be getting stuff. I think. I don't, I'm pretty sure Melty's not done, but I don't remember what Max said. Because the last time Max was talking about it, uh, Tsukihime wasn't getting localized, and now it is. Not only is it getting localized, it's getting a fucking PC. Yeah. 
So I don't know if Melty's done, but at least for the next announcement, it's probably Undertale. And I imagine building hype for it is kind of like a... Kind of like a Jeff Keighley courtesy. Like, you could just say it's... You know, French bread. But French bread really, aside from... I don't think Melty's a main game. No, yeah, Melty's a main game. Melty's a main game. But if they're not doing announcements on Sunday... Uh, not that Melty's not a Melty's not a Sunday game anyway, so I don't know. We can see if it's if it's not if Friday's announcement isn't French bread with a uh, Undernight. Bodies. Then maybe there will be a top six a announcement on Saturday for it. Oh yeah, we found her and the dude with the comb. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to see every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day, he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask us something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? <laughs> Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which... I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. Let's mosey. So yeah, I don't know. Game Freak would be funny. But then again, if it's like Bandai Namco is already there, so I guess that it wouldn't have any more likelihood or relevancy than, you know, French Bread, who was also there with their own game. But Bandai Namco has their own panel, or at least they have a Tekken panel. I don't know. I don't know what the hell it could be. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could... You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. Like, if it was Garo, Garo doesn't need any secrecy. We already know. So it's definitely not Thank that. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. We know what SNK is working on. We know what uh, NRS is working on. Capcom's working. I mean, Capcom could have another one. Fucking hopefully it's a crossover that's not with Marvel and is with like SNK or Capcom's own IPs. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. Who the hell goes live at 1 a.m.? Maximilian. I believe it was yours. I forgot I have access to the Grand Blue beta, but I don't have time to play it. The early beta. Thank you for returning it. 
I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Maybe I'll sneak in a match. I can't redeem my code on stage. On stage. <laughs> on stage. I can't redeem my code on stream. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that crazy. it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. All right, that Hello. wasn't so bad. And thank you again. It really is padded out by the side quests. The side quests make that way, way more. Like, f never mind. But I mean, we're still we're we're practically almost there. We will run this dungeon. Again, this is still like another hour to the stream, but we're gonna run this dungeon and then we will come back to Final Fantasy 16 after we finish Fallout New Vegas. But let's get going. We got more Clive and Sid shenanigans to go through. God damn it. trouble on the way none worth mentioning as I was telling Jill it's worse than I thought the capital's crawling with soldiers and here I am the deserter come home which is why we'll be taking the back door Midgar moment Golly, what's going on in here? It's our comrades. <laughs> what's wrong, Jill? Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. seem very private. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. <laughs> Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly do shortcut you come with a capital to know S. about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I shortcut may trademark have Sid. something similar before. 2023. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, 
If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. <laughs> an outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals oh, about the news the today, you know, with uh, can wield magic without them. To our rulers, any any evidence of aliens doesn't matter because we'll dangerous. just be back to work tomorrow anyway. So who cares? But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent. But there's some horror, <laughs> <laughs> horror scenarios. A torn Bleak scenarios. Our fate means nothing to them. That I would still consider no, sci-fi. This isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. But anyway, I'm just thinking about We're our morality. Not ready to listen. Mortality. So to hell with talking. Mortality. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. First, we have a gate to crash, and once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Let's get in there. I'm down one potion, but we'll be fine. You have reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to return. Proceed. Let's do it. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Yeah, we made it to Altitia. <laughs> first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Mine is gotcha. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. You're so sorry. The passage to the inner sanctum is guarded. Sid was talking about gotcha. Embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Let's get it. Come on, this way. I'm trying to stay out of sight. Obviously. <laughs> I'll do my best. The passage is empty. Nope, ignoring all that. Let's get this over with. 
What in the goddamn are you doing chilling with this thing? Of course it did. <laughs> I don't think the bird. Sorry. The Avis was here in normal difficulty. Doesn't doesn't feel right. Oh shit. Oh, he's aimed at the goddamn corner. So I can't Giga Flare, everybody. Oh. They're all dead. Yeah, I swear it was empty. Was. Well, that wouldn't have made sense for. They never stood a chance. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> that wouldn't have felt right with the haptic controls. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Fucking Sid's patronizing. Gotta wait for the NPCs to finish. What if Clive just went on a rant about NPCs? And hoisting himself up as the main character. Like, you guys are my friends, but... And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Captain, two arms! Two the cannoneer! At once! Cannoneer? No, 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 no. No need to do that. Oh, wait, you're all here? Perfect. God damn it. I oh, still isn't dead. Okay. the moments I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come guy. to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. This introduction of this mini boss when we have already fought this mini boss again in earlier dungeons. Then let's shut him up. On New Game Plus. <laughs> nope, I don't have those ready. Okay. Nope, two hits. Not a projectile. Not Wait, yes it is. Garuda, lend me your strength. Would you believe me if I told you I did that parry on purpose? Yeah. Then we better make this quick. 
It's so risky, it's not even worth parrying through. It's just get the fuck out of the way. Damn, that's gotta be a lot of damage. Uh, did I get enough damage in for the level 5? I did like one string. No, actually, it hardly even mattered. Oh well, this will be enough anyway. Why won't you die? Is he? Oh, bollocks! He's gonna catch it. There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. That's it. Nope, out of here. Goodbye. And look how fast he moves, too. Like, fuck, man. What a nasty attack. I'll be fine now. What hit me? I was looking at the UI, so I genuinely wasn't looking at Clive. I didn't see him winding up attack, though, last time I was looking. God damn it, he does three? Oh, that felt good. Oh, damn it, I waited too long. Darkness to me. What a waste of my potions. Four is your limit, a three is your limit. What a crazy ass fucking fight design. Oh, thank God. Whoa, he turns around fast. Not this time. I just realized when he did that, when he sucked into ether, he got a new, uh, he got all his health back. It. You do Zansetsuken during the stagger or you don't do it at all. Not this time. Two. Oh, 
I really wish the... Damn it. Projectiles that are... Not the projectiles, but the ground attacks that come out of the ground or are just vertical projectiles, basically. Projectile... Like, magic attacks that are vertical. I really wish those counted for Heat Wave. I think they might as well. Damn it, man. I took too long again. I literally used Rook's Gambit just to get air, just to get away. Good first mini boss, huh? I'll never get used to that. The Kashiko no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. <clears throat> God duties a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cared. Deep of the blessing, my friends. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be. Keen eye, be. you. The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what he's done to I was going to say, I really should actually collect this stuff because I need more high potions. Spare high potion. God damn it. Oh, the miners. The gods. Too far gone. The reason is like monsters, I think. What we can do now is put them out of the zoo. Isabel said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? You said you could call her, isn't it? Oh my. If ever there was a reason to up sticks, an ether flood would be it. May was come to the gate. They were there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, I was just making sure they were the only ones left. I don't know why I was there. They, you know, they're probably just gonna spawn more later. Not lifting that. I never stood a chance. Ugh. 
five. That just happened, didn't it? Doesn't look that far. <laughs> right. Bugger in it. Some help. Hold on. You needed some reminder of how fucking old Sid is. Not quite as spry as I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. Eh? At least you won't get lost. Another fight with mobs. Oh, come on, I swear I try to counter it. These fucking fights are diabolical, man. Wow, no, I actually could not parry that or dodge that. Spare potion. All right, well. Spare high potion. Spare Rita. Hey, Rita. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. I feel- I think we get jumped by enemies when we walk back. Right then. Yes, we do. There goes a bar. Oh, great, dude. A fucking coral here. Great. Cool, dude. Very cool. Very awesome. Yeah. 
No, you do not fight a coral by this point in the game. This is fucked up. I don't know what to tell you, man. You stunned yourself. Oh cool dude, new enemies approach, we should go get him. Oh wait, no, we got Zansetsuken level 5. Oh my god, this is gonna be so sick. We got ads? Bet. And they're all dead. Literally all the ads dead. It's so satisfying. Showing the alien Zeta Flare. Explore, uh, explaining the complexities and depth to uh, Zeta Flare and its prevalence in the series. So this is Donald Duck. You notice before we were all talking about large monsters. Practically immortal beings. Coral sword. Is it is it a good coral sword? Oh hell yeah it is. Does it look cool? No. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. Hmm. <laughs> Count to three. Three. <laughs> what happened to two? Ask one. <laughs> <laughs> Once more. Aye, seeing as you're trying now. If that was going to keep us out. Got to show off those ray, tra ray tracing shadows. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. far out is I think we got actually no yeah this is a short walk from here actually because it's a big ass boss we're like in the last hallway there's no one about I don't think we'll, this stream will be under four hours but it'll be close to four hours I knew it would be big, but this... There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahamut ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? 
I walked. You should try it. <laughs> Walk tall, my friends. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore that Sid's gonna handle that just fine. Oh no. Well, this is fucking worthless. I'm getting out of here. That's enough. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh wow, I couldn't pull it because I actually I don't know who had that locked down because I didn't see ice. How could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? Hmm. Are the two places connected somehow? Crazy. back there. Anyway, another one. Bravery? Fuck off. That's bravery. Yeah, nope. No attacking my dog. I got you, Jill. Even though you very clearly had everything under control. Oh, shit. Oh, what a waste! Wrong one! Well... There's also a flan back there. Oh no, that's an iron giant. Actually, no, that's not the iron giant. There, okay. I just set it up so I'd be able to damage both of them at once. I wonder if they're close enough for dancing steel. Oh my god, they're gonna be close enough for dancing. Oh my god. Yeah, I sure fucking hope we hit level five. Please don't have any projectiles. I gotta save all my stone skin tonics for the boss. Oh, too early. How do you fuck up that timing? I want to save my meter. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm so smart. I'm so galaxy brain. Now I get to take leveled up Sunset Sukin into the next fight. Fuck yeah. Assuming that was the last one before the next boss. 
When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Yep. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Well, all right. <sighs> no, nah, just kidding. There's no boss here. It's just a big bridge for show. Where did that come from? If I had to guess. Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. Well, if it's a fight he wants. Ready, Clyde? Do it again, do it again. Always. I'm ready this time. No, you're coming at me. Well, at least your head's low enough. Not this time. That's not counterable by projectiles, by heat wave. Oh, I countered that. Whatever. I don't have heat wave. I blew it. Oh, thank God, I thought I missed it. Wow, we are not doing a lot of damage to him. I'm glad you're here. Let's go. Get down here. Oh, shit. K damage. That might be a new record for me. 140k. Good As lord. Clive, look out. Heard you like wavelengths. Touchdown. Last-minute decision, and it wasn't worth it. Damn it! Disagree. Yeah. 
Oh, I fucked up again. One more hyper potion? Shit. I'm gonna have to map my ethers at this rate. Oh, that was rude. Projectile, I dare you. Actually, fuck it. I get level th uh, no, the lightning rod. So I only got level three because of lightning rod placement. I still got 127k though. Dragon dance. Oh, thank god that counted. So Dragon's Dance was just everything at once. Oh, I guess that was like a, uh, what do you call it? Oh, I can't believe I'm forgetting this word again. Desperation move. The desperation moves are usually more uh, deadly to yourself. Come on, mate. Caught her from there? You're gonna cauterize from there? That's weird. That's a weird way to cauterize. Oh yeah, dodging build sunset too. Oh, I literally just switched to it just to build the meter for the next fight. Wow, we took we have him so far in the corner his attack didn't have ground to land on. Oh, that would have been a sick final attack. There we go.
Yeah, same, Jill. Are you alright? Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive. Hmm. If this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean hunted. Mm -hmm. I just hope in the end they'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? Yeah, close enough. Let's mosey, gang. Oh my god, I just realized I called us a three-man party when Torgal was here. Torgal, I'm so sorry. We're almost there. Anyone having second thoughts? Not me. Hey. We're with you to the end, Sid. You know what? Then what are we waiting for? Hmm. You know what? Maybe, you know, maybe this Sid guy, maybe... Uh, you know what? We're too far in. I'll just keep my thoughts to myself. I don't know about that said guy, but 20 an hour is 20 an hour, so... We're gonna need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive. But I meant that figuratively. <laughs> of course, clearly made of sterner stuff. Tiger's going to have a fit when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. You Clive, meant that bigger. Looks as always supposed to be. Ah, oh, hi, Miguel. Clive, look. Come to me. I can't 
do this without you. Solomon Grundy. Born. FPS. Finally, my migraine can go away. Where the hell am I? I'm gonna need a lot more Phoenix Downs. Typhon. Yes, Miss Captain Coyfey, are you aware of that? Well, we... You... You again! Where are you? What do you want? I forget which game Typhon has been in before. He's still alive. What a good idea. I think I'll do that. Get out of my head. Dude wants to see my B and B's. I'm leaving. Watch out for all that. By the flames. Wow, I didn't think I could fuck that up. Like, they're all throwing projectiles, so I just figured if I did heat wave, I would at least counter one of them. I'm just gonna stand right here. There we go. I never showed this off before, but you can charge, like, you know, you hold the button to charge the melee attack. Oh, shit. You can charge it in certain, like, battle cutscenes. What else can he do? As if, like, you know how in Mega Man X, you can always, like, at any time charge the buster. Even during cutscenes, that's exactly what it's like. Next, buddy. 
Red is dodge. Red is R1. That power isn't yours. This is the part Clive's gonna say is is the uh, iconic line. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's what my PS5 just did. Do I get my full moveset yet? I have fire. I have reached. Yeah, I do. Holy shit, I got my full moveset. But like you sit you sit there for a while and then you do burst damage in that burst. Like you absorb for like a good full second any damage. And then you burst it back out. And then the uh, R2 triangle is a uh, full fucking uh, Giga Flare like blur. Like this. And this destroys projectiles too. Holy shit, that felt good. That is so cool that they give you the full fucking moveset. also got timing to it too, that's what that circle is. You choose when to release it and releasing it at the right time. It's Oh, this is exactly what this is for. Yep. Yeah, fuck all that nonsense. Holy shit, it's 239.
I told you Clive would say his iconic line. Oh, fuck. I think Typhon's from 5, actually. Yes. Oh shit, but it's Typhon, or is Typhon from 6? And now I'm born right now. As you wish. Demon Wall. Not an enemy this time, an attack. Typhons from six. Oh, that was a waste. Now I got two more heals. That's it, I'm out of heals, so I better get this done quick. Well, that wasn't fair. Not a waste of meter, I was trying to get to the QTE.
<laughs> nope, still charging. Yo, Blitzballer confirmed. I just can't help thinking that, like... Vegas Fear Van Vegas Fear Vanquished. Said it. All right. The oh. hole. Well, that happened. We'll, we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. Sid's theme. This was never the hideaway theme. This is Sid's theme. Try not to talk. Free. 
stop. Please. I can think of one better than you. In ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Hey, we knew someone who said those words. Sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? I saw you protect them. That was very brave. Base Torgal. I know you're there, Ultima. You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this, if you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors, fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. Joshua's wiki page is now accessible. A disturbance. It is now safe to read. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We have come to claim our vessel. And I said no. Flames are nothing. You will know what it is to Just burn. read the wiki, Sid died. <laughs> Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to.
These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Fucking maniac, bro. Just try and get to my brother now. Fiend. These people are not as happy as the people of Norvrant were. I'm just kidding, they weren't happy either. Meanwhile... Goddamn smart Gav. <laughs> Fucking quick. Gav, we've got to go. Not without this. Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. Nope, thank we found Kuka. Grieving is a natural process, but... Oh, fuck. Hmm. It should have autosaved. That was the autosave icon, right? <laughs> I want I want to check. Very cute. Autosave as its own wiki entry. Yes, that was the autosave icon. Okay, we'll pause there. So, thanks everyone for tuning in for Final Fantasy Fix, uh, 16. Find out what happens uh, next time, later, um, in a couple weeks. <laughs> so... A uh, hell of a cliffhanger. Uh, next Wednesday, we will continue Fallout. On Friday, we'll be... Uh, what is it earlier in the day? Uh, FanFest. Final Fantasy XIV FanFest earlier in the day around 1 p.m. Eastern. 
And then at night, we'll be uh, Grand Blue for a little bit and mostly Street Fighter at night. Uh, presumably. But that'll be on Friday. Next Friday, we'll restream Evo announcements uh, and maybe have a game, but we'll see. Uh, for now, though, uh, it's 3 a.m. I gotta get the get to bed. Hope everyone enjoyed, and until next time, go to bed.